After spending a year umming and ahhing over staying at Alberton Oval, now Travis Boak is captain of Port Adelaide. It's the strongest indication yet he'll be a power player for life. Uh, it's a great honour to be captain of the Port Adelaide Football Club. Um, you know, coming over here six years ago and, and not knowing much about a club, being a Victorian, and then uh, you know walking in and, and just seeing the rich history and, and everyone who's been a part of the club, and uh, you know, to captain this club is just a, it's just a great honour, and I'm really looking forward to the challenge. The 24-year-old will set high standards. Yeah, look, I won't change too much of, of what I've, you know, what I've done now, and um, the way I've got here is, is just leading by example and, and working as hard as I can, and, and just setting that example and, and tone for the rest of the group. And um, I think that's the way I'll, I'll, I'll sort of do things. Brad Ebert takes on the vice captaincy. Great, yeah. Like what Travis said, it's a huge honour for me as well, and um, yeah, just to help out Travis where I can, and and, um, and I guess be vice captain of the club is is great. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. After four years as skipper, Dom Cassisi has backed the change, the 30-year-old to hand the number one Guernsey to Boak. Um, you know, Dom's been fantastic for the club and I mean, I've learned so much from him last couple of years when I was in the leadership group and, and he'll continue to be a, a huge support of us and um, you know, it'll be, it'll be great to, to take over the number one, especially from him because he's, he's a great mate of mine as well and, and just been great for the club. Matt Thompson, AFL.com.au.